All right, let's now talk some football in the Sports Bank Zone. The 2024 schoolboy football season in Jamaica begins on September 7, and teams are taking every opportunity to get invaluable preseason practice matches with several tournaments being held across the island. One such tournament is the inaugural first 45 football extravaganza set for the Montego Bay Sports Complex at Catherine Hall on Saturday. Seven teams will take part, featuring both rural area da costa cup and urban area manning cup sides here to tell us more about the tournament is the director of uh, first 45 sports group hanif Comrie, and anthony patrick he's head coach of saint catherine high school one of the teams involved in the competition gentlemen it's good to have you on the sports max zone first of all um, mr Comrie. let me start with you because First of all, give us an understanding of what is first 45. I think I know what it is, but I would prefer for you to explain it. It's the thoroughbred of football. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's returning. I don't know if you remember those days when, well, if you're old enough. When I, I, Lance, I, this I, is I, coming up again, your age. <laughs> it's okay, I it's grew okay. Up, um, listening to the national team play and felt more excited. Mm -hmm. excitement than watching the game now mm -hmm. and and that thirst i mean evil i remember reading the book where i can't forget the name Pele's name that's how embedded the football love and joy was um for for me so um as an avid um player in the in in the football arena i'm one that is thinking about it what can be done to First of all, encourage because we transition kids or our parent company or kids academy. Yeah. We found a way to, to use football to be a social transition tool, yeah. um, ma mainly in Western Jamaica. I mean, it's like left and right hand now. Any child at any level, we can use a ball game to improve the grades, you name it. So now it was time to return to the cross for football and make sure that. Um, excitement returns with passion with less um incidents right now if you give them too much time <laughs> coaches players fans <laughs> you tend to water the whole thing so it's all right 45 minutes zero to 45 mm. no extra time no second half <laughs> right and the flavor goes on from there five penalty kicks goalkeeper must take one Yes. Defender must take one, midfielder must take one, and a striker. So, so this is T20 football? <laughs> See, the, I didn't want to say it that way, you know, you understand? Because I don't want to hear, oh, yeah. he's a cricket yeah, fan, yeah, yeah. so he just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yes. England, yeah. yeah, man, it's, 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 it's football on wheels, and I think locally, we possess so much talent that sometimes, and I myself do some amount of coaching, yeah. but I, I like to consider our program player developers. I leave it to the experts like Sir Patrick here, who have the titles and all of that. I, I, we focus on the social tool, and then we hand them over to a Sir Patrick or anybody that we think falls in that kind of scope. So if we have so much talent, so much quality, then why should it be boring? Yeah, Anthony Patrick, um, what a fantastic resume you have. Um, two titles with Bridgeport <laughs> at the Manning Cup level. You also have Walker Cup titles with St. Catherine. You have records at the Premier League level with Waterhouse as well. <laughs> Let's not forget that. Um, and here you are going into another and, season. And new with records to build with Racing United. And new records to build with Racing United, <laughs> very much to the, the Premier case. League, yeah. um, First 45 extravaganza, how do you feel about it? Yeah, I think it's a welcome one for the youngsters. I really feel happy about it, trust me. Um, it, uh, the players, the youngsters, get to showcase their talent at a, a very um, early and tender age. Yeah. You know, uh, that's why I really welcome it and I tell them that um, I will take part in it. Yeah. Um, talk to me about the teams that will be involved, seven teams, we're told. Six teams. Six teams. Six teams. Yes. What's two the zones, format? Two zones. Yeah. Um, they play off in the zone, so yeah. each team is guaranteed two games, and then the two winners are the, the, the zone. So after all, you're it. guaranteed at least 90 minutes? 
<laughs> you're, you're guaranteed. Um, yes, yes. 245. Two yes. yes, yes, yes. 245. Two, two different teams. But two different teams, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two yeah, different yeah. teams. Yeah. And, and for a grand prize, winner take all. Yeah. So I want to come yes. down to Montego Bay and see some football tomorrow. What teams am I coming to watch? You're seeing. Outside of St. Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> you're seeing. You want to hear about the teams before you hear about the, the interesting prize? coaches? I want to hear about the teams, yes. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'll match the coaches a, after. That's a prelude. So, so, somehow I think Whitmore will be one of the coaches. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. So you have the great Cornwall College. Yes. Oh, the great? You, yes. Why, the great. why are they great? The great? Yes. Because they're um, after Monroe College. Yes. You find Cornwall College, so. Oh, you're talking Western Jamaica. <laughs> um, <laughs> we will get there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, you have Cornwall College. Manchester High, mm. Coach Doki, um, St. Catherine, you have Irwin High, interestingly, former Cornell coach is now at Irwin High. <laughs> right? So when you talk about 45 minutes, you know, yes. you're talking about testing a, a, a group. And you have Rossies, Paul Teagat Davis. William Nib is part of it as well. Yes, I don't know man. how you could leave out William no, Nib with our own Dwight Jeremiah. No, yeah. you see, he was getting there. Right? League he was best for us. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we already had the best on set. <laughs> well, well <laughs> Jeremiah didn't yeah. go to Cornwall College, did he? No. So, not that I know. Okay, because you've been projecting Cornwell College as the best, so <laughs> no. I just wanted to... No, 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 I said the, the great Lance, Cornwell why are you, College. Why are you pushing the mind? It's the heart of Montego Bay, okay. <laughs> right? Heart of Montego Bay. Okay. But yes, you have a, a nice contingent of yeah. teams. Um, so, so this is a coaches mm. tournament. No, I see why you were saying <laughs> that maybe we should hear about the coaches. This is this <laughs> is really battle of the coaches. <laughs> Whitmore versus Patrick versus Jeremiah versus Dookie. Yes. In 45 <laughs> minutes, <laughs> right? It's almost like uh, the Dr. Dr. Dean Weatherly. Uh, Dr. Dr. Dean, Dean Weatherly, who is yeah. now at Irwin, yeah. right? Yes, yeah. so, uh, and, and ably assisted or um, guided um, alongside Norman Foster. Mm. You, oh, you, you yeah, know the name Norman Foster. Former kickers oh. start. There start you there. go, yes, man. The, the, he, the first year ballot kickers won the Premier League in 93, I think it was. Foster was one of their top players. Yes, because if you, if you follow Irwin High for the last two years, yes. they... They have created a lot of stir with, with, with Coach Foster. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, man. I, but, I mean, and the boys, I think it's right because I, I realize that the teams have hit another level. And it's, it's ideal at this point. Yeah, Coach Patrick, you had a strong outing with St. Catherine last year. How many players have you retained going into the 2024 campaign? Well, I would say I have about um, seven, seven starters. Mm. Seven this starters, team. yeah. And you're happy with preseason? Well, so far, I would say yes, but um, I think a little bit short where the, the bench is concerned. The bench. You know, but um, definitely we are going all out. Yeah, so yeah. How, how much will tomorrow's 45 preseason tournament tell you about your team? Well, they and got readiness. Good, it, 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 that, that is the reason why I said, um, you know, I'm going to take part in it. I want to test them from early. The other youngsters, give them the opportunity to play with the senior players and see where it goes from there. Yeah, Coach, I want to put you on the spot um, a little bit here um, because we've seen in recent years a few coaches taking on a high school team as well as a Premier League team. Um, I, how difficult is, is that double? Um, because I suspect that it is a lot of work designing the various programs and um, being there on spot to take the teams through the preparation phase and so on. Yeah, it's really stressing, really, really <laughs> stressing. I must tell you, I must tell you, I really get. I don't get a lot of time by myself. Trust me. You know, being at, at um, racing now um, in the morning and seeing catching by 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 three o'clock in the evening, and then the under twenty at racing. Mm -hmm. I'm in charge of all the program there. So wow. I don't get a lot of time. Six in the morning, three in the evening, and then five again in the yeah. evening. And this is so, not new for you because you did this when you were at Waterhouse as well? And Bridgeport. And yeah, Bridgeport, Waterhouse yeah. and, and Bridgeport. Yeah. So you have that experience that I guess should help. And then I have a, 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 a quality um, staff with me, yeah. you know, who, who, who really work tirelessly. Yeah, yeah and we know it. Premier League matches are primarily played on a Sunday, but you do have midweek matches. And I know that I've seen instances in the past where a coach who coaches a Premier League team and a schoolboy team have... 
a match day with both teams. Maybe the schoolboy match maybe a little bit earlier, but I've seen cases where a coach has to make a choice as to which match he will he will attend if the games clash. If when, that happens with you, what, what, what would you do? When you have, when you have a reputable staff, you have reputable a good, staff. Yeah, reputable staff working with you alongside you, 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 can, you, you don't have to look behind him. Yes. Yeah. You know, you can set the program and set things in, to put things in place. Yeah. Mr. Comber, tell us about the prizes now at, at the, the 45 extravaganza tomorrow. All right, so like 45 minutes, we, it's win and take all. Yes. So, it's so, so what is Mr. Dollars. Patrick and St. Catherine going to be winning? Half a million dollars. <laughs> you said half a million half dollars? Half a million dollars. Wow. That's half a million Jamaican dollars. That's over, what, 3,000 US dollars. dollars. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's a good price for just yes. one day of football. Yes. And but 45 I mean, minutes per match. I mean, build excitement yeah. just the same. It, yeah. I, I think if you're going to ask the coaches and these, and these youngsters to, to express themselves and deliver, especially at such a high pace, you should at least give back to the school to ensure that it, it goes a, a long way. And again, like I said, our, our central focus is social transition. Yeah. And like, come on term, it takes cash to care. Yeah. So, I mean, it's one, it, it's one thing to approach the psychological, psycho-emotional and all those different areas using the tool of sports, but you still have to find some ways to support um, the energy that's brought out there and I, energy it will be. Yeah, I At suspect you'd have gotten five. some sponsorship backing to, to assist this prize yes, money. Yes, man, definitely. I mean, water, power aid, and a few other um, Wisinko products. Um, we actually, interestingly, will have a medical village because we're trying to ensure that, again, it's a holistic day. So we have four, Urology West, um, Omega, so we have components that different uh, medical components that align to sporting activities that mm -hmm. some some schools actually don't know where how or or hope and which way based on them coming on board. Um, it's exciting to say that they have sat down with us and are open to making better partnership with schools. So you have Coach Patrick as a player who needs an MRI. After tomorrow, it might cost way, way less. Because yeah. of the networking because that will happen. Because of the networking that will, that will take place. We have um, good food on the day, Chester Fry, jerkies, yeah. right? Um, so we have a couple of people. Yeah, I suspect St. Catherine High would probably have the longest travel trip to the day's the proceedings. Mm -hmm. Do you travel tonight or early tomorrow morning? Yeah, um, about probably, uh, yeah, about early tomorrow morning, about 7 o'clock. Tomorrow morning, but the game started at um, 3 p.m. First game so. is at 3 okay. p.m. Yes. So you have time. So and of three... course, the, the new toll road now makes mm. going to Montego <laughs> be a lot, a lot easier. So that, remember, that... save the speed for the game. Yeah, well, yes. we are not on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Great advice. How yes. about the marketing on the ground? Because mm -hmm. with an event like this, it would be unfortunate mm -hmm. if um, the Montego Bay Sports Complex looks anything like Providence in Guyana for the <laughs> test match that's going on. So what's the marketing on the ground been like in terms uh, of getting the fans out? I mean, the buzz has been, has been um, exceptional. Um, again, people like myself are hungry for something like this, something that you come and it's, there's, there's really no opportunity for you to be bored. Yeah. You can't, and there's no, we, we, we shave the, the opportunity for any animosity because it's 45 minutes. You can't say, boy, the ref <laughs> took five minutes to ref. The, the sad thing, I've been searching for a digital clock because I want one on the sideline yeah. so that the entire stadium can see, okay, the whistle blow. 45 minutes, so um, I mean, Coach Patrick knows 45 minutes, win the game. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I would add a little bit to it, um, where, when it, um, the, the buzz, the buzz with a, a, mm -hmm. a Coach Patrick himself, of course, mm -hmm. um, Adana Van Duke, yes. a Paul, a Paul, Paul T. Davis, Davis, a Tapa Whitmore, a Dr. Yeah. Dean, you know, yes. it, people will come out to see. It, it, it felt almost like... Um, some movements in the English league, how the coaches and and <laughs> funny enough, you know, because it's really an all island tournament. Yeah. But it was so interesting because um, when we we did get proper communication to a lot of the school, I had some 
yeah. schedules and yes. I mean the, it fell in our lap the perfect combination of yeah, because I was just mm -hmm. gonna ask you in mm -hmm. five seconds did you mm -hmm. deliberately go after these coaches no honestly that's why I know 45 is the best thing <laughs> on the planet because imagine coming up with something like this and you end up with these yeah. these these because again Next year, it's going to even be crazier. <laughs> yeah, it sounds good. It yes. sounds really good, mm -hmm. and we look forward to it. Mr. So mm -hmm. Comrie, Anthony Patrick, thank you very much for joining us on the Sports mm -hmm. Mag Zone. All the very best tomorrow. One with the organization, two with St. Catherine High School. <laughs> I hope you guys do really well, and I look forward to hear what happens with the battle of the coaches. Yeah, it is first 45 <laughs> football extravaganza at the Montego Bay Sports yeah. Complex at yeah. Catherine Hall on Saturday. If you're anywhere close, yeah, go on down and take a look. Yeah, it's a really good um, build-up to the schoolboy football season. Let's take a break. We'll be back with more after this.